So when I started my time here at Drexel, I was solely focused on the academics, you know, getting my bachelor's degree uh, and trying to really, um, I guess, get a feel for what I'm going to do at, like after I graduate. Uh, little did I know that uh, that was not, it's not the case. Uh, I ended up finding that, um, you know, mechanical engineering technology is like my passion uh, and it helped me to find my interest in nuclear energy and, um, you know, where I'm going to be working after graduation. Uh, and I found that not only has it allowed me to develop professionally, but it allowed me to just grow as like, an independent adult, uh, find new hobbies with my friends, and really just explore Philadelphia. Uh, so I took Thermodynamics 2 with Professor um, Irina, Dr. Irina Busano. Uh, one of the toughest classes I've taken, but it was also one of the classes that I definitely have most of my um, thermal system knowledge from. I definitely wouldn't have done as well in my second co-op at, um, at my third co-op at Exelon Nuclear because uh, I was in the balance of plant department and they have a lot of thermal systems and I saw myself using a lot of the information I learned from that class um, and I'm going to be working in their department after graduation so I really uh, owe it all to her I guess. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. Is it's, it's like a tight-knit family, really. Um, you always hear about university having clubs and doing activities and, you know, having to, that type of, like, bond between classes, like freshmen, sophomore, uh, juniors, and seniors. But Drexel takes it to, like, a whole other level. There's, like, so many, hundreds of different clubs and organizations, and each of those clubs you find an interest in. Like, uh, even though I'm a senior, I explored the um, eSports uh, Gaming Association for Drexel uh, like a few months ago and everyone was just so welcoming and I went to my first LAN event and it was, it was super cool. It was, it was very valuable because not only it allowed me to build to my resume and like build a case for full-time employment, but it also allowed me to find what area I want to go into. Um, I first was a mechanical design intern and I got to dress up in a big uh, hazmat, like bubble suit like Homer Simpson uh, for a few weeks, for a week, and that was really cool. Uh, and then for my second co-op, I wanted to explore project management, uh, and I went to the Federal Reserve Bank, and I got to, I got to work with projects I never imagined working with. Um, but I, I got a feel for um, the need for a more technical role, so that's why I went back to like Exxon Nuclear and went to a more systems role. Um, and because of that, I'm able to like, you know, find a role that I actually enjoy doing. Uh, not that I really see it as a job, it's more of like, hey, this is going to be my career, I'm going to be working here every day.